<laughs> so here's the deal with this movie. Again, for, for those of you at home still playing, uh, uh, Will plays this congressman who's like five time, he's yeah. the incumbent. Nobody runs. He loves being a congressman. He's got the perfect wife and the perfect family and the perfect setup. He owns the district. And then there's a scandal on top of a scandal. And Zach is the local guy who is the tour guide and just loves his little town where he's from and just loves everything about it and uh, has a dad who was a huge political figure but never wanted him to get into politics. And they tap him to run against Will. Absolutely. So these, these are your two candidates right here. Yeah. These are your choices. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's hilarity point. ensues. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you explain it very well. You guys want, you you want to bring me along the rest of the yeah. way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where were you when Bozo was a real master? <laughs> God. Can you just set up the story? I'm thinking about that whole thing. Just bring me along. <laughs> we have a professional plot experience. And then they can just Jeez. cut to us asleep in a chair. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like something I'd like to see. <laughs> what was, did Bozo actually uh, critique the film? Did he actually give it a rating? Did he do it? How do you critique a, a film with a... Bicycle horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe there's probably a couple of shows where they have critics doing that at this point. <laughs> there are three mutated hands up. <laughs> are there? Have you? Uh, have you heard from any politicians along the way here yet? About did you? Did you have consultants working with you on this? Political consultants. No, he didn't. But Jay Roach, the director, uh, has done a couple of political films. Um, he was fresh off of Game Change, yeah, Change and uh, and he he knows everything yeah, he about politics and uh, and that sort of thing. And yet this was a he loved doing this because it was a nice kind of palate cleanser after having to do right. something where he had to be so serious and, yeah. and be so accurate with everything. And this we could kind of you know go for it and just play around. And, uh, but we, no, we, um, we all fault politics enough to, to, uh, to have like our favorite things we wanted to kind of mimic and steal from. And well, everybody gets it too because they watch it on TV. I mean, you, you yeah, don't we're have so bombarded with it. Yeah. yeah. That it's now, yeah. it's now sport to us. And, and, uh, yeah, you don't really have to educate the audience. In, in terms of the moves we're doing, because you've seen it all the right, times, so. right? And, and the campaign commercials, and then they've got like you know, you get the real life guys, the Chris Matthews, Wolf Blitzer types in the movie, so it, it has this weird yeah. feeling of being authentic. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, which was great because that I mean they're they're kind of the audience viewpoint in a way. And, uh,